Welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator 2. In the last episode, I fixed a customer's severely overheating PC. If you missed that episode and you want to go back and check it out, I will put a link up in the upper right hand corner so you can do so. Let me hop into the email here. Let's see what we've got to work on today. It looks like we've got a build, some upgrades. Look at this. Oh, this is something I still can't do because I need a level 5 bongle rating. So, we'll continue to wait on that. This just needs to be upgraded to 16 gigs of RAM, clean out dust. So let's definitely read through this one. It says, Hiya, do you think you could help me make some upgrades? I'm hoping for 16 gigs of memory. If you can stretch to that. It might need a bit of a clean. Could you get that done by 12.9.22? I think hash sign stickers would look cool on a PC. Can you do that? I think it could really use a scan too. Man, they've got all kinds of stuff going on. All kinds of stuff. It's dusty. They want stickers got viruses, and they want some RAM. <laughs> I'm sure we can make all of that happen. Let's go ahead and accept that one. Then let's take a look at their stats here. Upgrade to 16 gigs of RAM. So they've got one 4-gig stick. Oh, my. We may be able just to get four sticks of that. Let's see what motherboard they have. MSI MPG Z390 Gaming Edge. That should have four slots. So I'm pretty sure we can just get four of these. Or three of them, actually. They've already got one. Let me go to the checkout. We will up this to three. There we go. That fits within their budget. Perfect. Perfect. Let me minimize that. So that one's on the way. Then we've got this. We've got a build to play Light of Legion at recommended specs. So let's read through this says, hi, I'm trying to get into esports and was wondering if you could help. I've submitted applications to all the big teams. My dream is to join Trinity, but I don't think they'll accept unless they get a chance to see me in action. There's a local league starting up soon, but I need a rig that'll get me noticed. I've got $2,000 to spend from my savings, so I'm hoping you can build a beast of a PC. Super fast, RGB components, water cooling, I want it all. Do you think you put something together ASAP? So I can take it to the league. Thank you, Kimmy. Okay, so they want water-cooled CPU and GPU to be able to play Light of Legion at recommended spec, four RGB components, and spend less than two grand. Man, they're asking for an awful lot. But I think we can make it happen. I think we can make it happen. Let's open up Will It Run before we accept it. Light of Legion. Where is it? There it is. So, a recommended spec. So we're looking at 4 gigs of RAM, 6 gigs of VRAM, 12 gigs of storage, an i5-7600, and a GTX 1060 6 gig. None of that's super expensive stuff, so I'm pretty sure we can make that happen. Let me close that out. Let's go ahead and accept this one. I'm going to get the custom water cooling shop opened up. And I've already got the regular shop opened up. I'm going to step away. I'm going to get the parts for this build put into the shopping carts. And as soon as I've got it in there, I will come back and show you. All right, for this build to play Light of Legion at recommended spec, we're gonna go with the MSI MPG Z390 Gaming Pro Carbon Motherboard, an i5-9600K, two sticks of G-Skill Trident Z RGB 8 gig 3200 megahertz, an Antec High Current Gamer 650 watt power supply, a Gigabyte Aorus, 512 gig NVMe drive. We're going to put in hopefully three more Tony Heataway RGB fans. We're going to put it all in the Lian Lee PC 011 dynamic case. For the water cooling parts, let's go to the checkout here. We've got the Corsair Hydro X Series XC7 RGB block, the Alpha Cool Asation DC Ultra Pump Reservoir Combo, and EK Coolstream SE 360 mil radiator RGB fans and a GeForce GTX 1060 with an EK block on it that is also RGB. Hopefully all that's going to fit in the case properly. It's hard to know when it comes to some of this water cooling stuff. If it doesn't, I guess we'll have to figure something else out. Let's go ahead, though, and buy all of this. And then we'll come over here and buy all of this. All right, so everything should be good. We've got the post-it on our whiteboard, and the other stuff's coming in. So let me end the day. Let's turn off the lights. Let me into the day and we can get everything in and we can get to work. Birds are chirping. All right, lights on. 
Here's all of our stuff. There we go. Let's start with this upgrade first. We'll bring this over here. This had a bunch of stuff they wanted done. Let me open up the email just so I can remember. Let's see, it was this one. They wanted RAM, which we've ordered. They wanted us to clean it out. They wanted a hash sign, stickers, and a virus scan. Oh my. Well, let's start by cleaning out the dust. I think that'd be the best place to start here since it is filthy. Get all this dust out of here and into our lungs as it blows it all around the office. Let me zoom in and move down a little bit so maybe I can get to these parts that it's not letting me get to. Okay, next, let's get their RAM installed. So we definitely have room for the other three sticks of RAM. So let me come here, RAM. And we've got three more sticks of RAM. And the last one. There we go. Okay, so I think everything we needed to do on the inside is done. However, oops, tools. We need a USB drive because we need to put the virus scanner on here. So let me power this up. I do want to hop into the BIOS real quick just to see if we need XMP or anything turned on. Oops, RAM. Uh, that would be a no, so I'm just going to turn it back off. And while this is booting up, I'm going to go ahead and put the side panel back on because I think we're going to be good to go. I think we're going to be good. So, let's get the virus scanner on here. And then once we scan for viruses, we'll go put their hash stickers on. And this job will be done. So, start scanning. 389, not too bad. Not the worst I've seen. Warning, corrupted files found. Scary. Okay, there we go. Computer is protected. Very nice. Very nice. Now, hash stickers hash stickers so we got shapes warning signs, symbols where would hash stickers be? do they have their own section here? spiral house, keyboard, strategy maybe they're under symbols like when they say hash stickers are they talking about this right here? Like a big, a big old hash. Oh, that's the rotate. Uh, we're going to say that that's what they want. Let's change the color, though. Let's make it green. There we go. They didn't say how many they wanted. <laughs> so... Uh, let's do apply on glass, and we'll stick one here on the front. Let me shrink it down just a little bit. And hopefully they'll like that. This one should be done, though, so let me go put this one out here in the delivery area. And we can grab this case for our build, and I'll come back and grab the post-it note. All right, case. Post-it note. Hopefully everything fits in this case, or I'm going to be bummed. Let me get this case taken apart. I want to start just by maybe trying to put in the water cooling components just to make sure they fit, because that's what I'm most concerned about fitting in. So custom water cooling, let's get this pump reservoir. So that fits right there. I think we're going to be all good because the 360 can go back there. So let's grab the 360. And that's just fine by me. Okay. And then we should be able to put fans up here in the top. So let me go ahead and do that as well. PC parts. Case fans. We ordered three more Tony Heataway RGB fans. So we should be able to get those mounted up here. And then we will get 
the motherboard and stuff like that installed. So let's go back to PC parts, uh, motherboards. Motherboards, we want this MSI MPG Z390 Gaming Pro Carbon. That's what I got for this build. So we will get that installed. Let's go ahead and get these out of the way. All right, let me get this thing ready for a CPU and a RAM. For the CPU, we've got the i5-9600K. And for the RAM, we've got two sticks of G-Skill Trident Z RGB, 8 gig, 3200 megahertz. There we go. There we go. All right, let me get some thermal paste on this CPU. And then I want to go ahead and get the block mounted. Nice. Very nice. Am I going to be able to sneak my piping out by that top fan? I sure hope so. I sure hope so. Okay, next we need some storage. What am I looking for? Oh, PC parts. I'm in the wrong section. I'm in the wrong section. I need storage. We've got the Gigabyte Aorus 512 gig NVMe drive. And that just goes right here. And then last but not least, we need their graphics card. It's right here. The GTX 1060 with the EK RGB Plexi block. Get that installed. Then let me come around to this side of the case and I want to go ahead and grab the power supply, which is this Antec High Current Gamer 650 watt. There we go. There we go. I think we are ready to cable this up. They didn't say anything about any specific colored cables. So I'm probably just going to go with maybe just black. I've got all these custom cables where I ordered stuff. I don't know how to get all this junk out of my inventory. <laughs> it's probably here forever. It's probably here forever. So let's see. Let's just do these flat black cables. Oh, yeah. Well, let me get everything cabled up, and then we're going to have to get this thing piped. Why? Wh what is happening? Why do I have... Did I pick the wrong cables? I could have sworn... Oh, that is a custom cable set. Dang it. They're just in my way. Don't I just have flat braided? Yeah. There we go. Okay. Jeez. There's got to be a way to get that stuff out of my inventory. There's got to be. Got to be. Okay. I'm going to go with clear rigid pipe. And I'm going to go with... I'll do these RGB fittings. Why not? Why not? So this looks like it says out. So I think maybe we will run out of here into the graphics card. And that's probably going to have to stay like that. I don't think there's any adjustment I can make to that. We're going to run out of here and hopefully up into the radiator. And I'm going to have to step away because this is a mess. And it's going to take me a minute to fix it. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let me go ahead and accept that one. Then I'm going to run out of this radiator and into the CPU block. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. I thought it was refusing to do it. <laughs> this one's going to take a minute for me to fix up too, so I will be right back. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and accept that one. Then we will run out of the CPU block and back into the reservoir. And again, there's probably not much I can do with this little short... Run. That might be about as good as it gets. Okay, let me accept that. Then coolant. Need coolant in here. Now, they did say something about a color that they wanted. Static. Red with static effect. So maybe, maybe we'll do some red coolant for them. Let's see. Red. Red opaque UV. Okay, 
we're going to let that run through. While that is running through, I'm going to come back here and start putting on some of the parts I removed. Get the side panel on. Let's see. We can probably go ahead and put all the side panels on. I know it's blasphemous. I know. I know. We haven't even booted it yet, and I've already put the thing back together. But it'll be okay. I promise. I promise. Let me get a USB drive in here. And let's see if it powers. I do want to hop into the BIOS and make sure XMP doesn't need to be turned on. It does. There we go. 3200 megahertz RAM. Okay. Let's let the OS install. And then we need to fix these lights. Because they want them red with static effect. I don't know if static is an effect, but, you know, <laughs> whatever they want to call it. So lighting, we're going to select all. We're going to make them red and static. There we go. There we go. That thing turned out pretty nice. That turned out pretty dang nice. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay. Well, let's go put this thing out in the delivery area. We should be able to collect some money. Well, let's see. So this one we can't do. Here is the build we just did. Let's do the upgrade first. Five stars. The new system memory is nice. And the hash sign stickers were a nice touch. Excellent. Okay, and here's our build to play Light of Legion. Five stars, $709 profit. Not a bad deal. Not a bad deal at all. Okay, let's see. We've got some parts. We got some more parts. We got some broken PCs. I promise we're going to mess with those at some point, just not today. <laughs> and then we've got um, a customize and an overclock which I think we will probably get to in the next episode. This might be a little bit of a shorter episode, but that's okay. That is okay. Let me close all this stuff out. Got a bunch of stuff open here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, you know what to do. Give it the thumbs up if you liked it, the thumbs down if you didn't. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, and ring the bell if you want to be notified as soon as a video from me goes live. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there. And I will see you in the next episode.